Are there advantages to aging? Yes, I am Debbie Jo Horton and welcome to Advantages to Aging. Join my guests and I as we discuss aging and what makes for a healthy lifestyle, which results in a quality life. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome listeners to a new episode of Advantages to Aging. And today I have with me Lynn Brown. She is such an amazing woman. I've gotten to know her through a networking group that I have been involved in. And she just has the most incredible life. Welcome, Lynn. I can't wait to share all the great things about you with our listenership. Oh, thank you so much. It's just a pleasure and a joy to be here today with you. And and hello to everyone out there listening to the podcast. And hey, just all I can tell you is here. here's the deal. Buckle up because when, when we get going, you know, we just get going. So it's going to be a wild ride. And I'm I'm just very real. I'm transparent. I'm authentic. And so just all I can say is buckle up. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. Well, let's get right into it then, shall we? What would you say is the one thing you felt brought about the biggest change in your life last year? Wow, I can remember specifically where I was standing, you know, when I had the the download. And I will tell you that I've never, up until now, I always say up until now, mm-hmm. I have not fully focused, leaned in, gone all in on one thing. I've always jumped from here to there. I'm a recovering shiny object chaser. And so I've never really gone all in, but there was something about this, this last 365 days that was just totally different. And, and that I would say that's it. I just made it a commitment. Now, let me just be clear before, (laughs) before this last year, when well, right when my friend Holly called me, I said no first. So I first said no to this whole thing that changed my life. Okay, so just to be clear, if there's anybody out there that has ever experienced something like that, where you first said no way, I'm not doing that, that blah blah blah, and then you realize, wait a minute, maybe this is the thing showing up in a different way, because you know I'm a person of faith, so I mean God is so creative. I mean He made the giraffe and an ant, and He made me. So I mean, my goodness, He can He can do all things. And so He showed up in a different way, and I almost said no. I mean, well, really, I'll be honest, I did say no first. Like Holly, no, no. <laughs> then the next morning, there was this nudge. I was like, Lynn Brown, you're going all in on this. So that was it. I have to say, going all in. So what was the biggest pivotal moment? that changed was that it when you said i just have to do this god wouldn't have put this in my in front of me if if it wasn't meant to be yeah i'll have to just take a little 60 second trip back um over the last 7 years um uh, 7 years ago i hit a wall a really a really hard brick wall i don't know if any of you have ever done that like just face plant you know 2 by 4 moment frying pan between the eyes whatever I was in a dark place and I called a coach and I said, you know, you got to help me what you got, you know, and she said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to write down um, daily gratitude every day. I was like, come on, Debbie. Her name was Debbie, too. I was like, come on. Don't you have more than that? I mean, really? That's so cheesy. I mean, really? Every day? Like what? She said, yeah, 25 things a day. And I said, for how long? She said, "Uh, forever. I'm like, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do that. So I got a cute little journal. And she said, and one more thing too. She said, I, only, I want you to write down your dreams as if they have happened. Mm. Uh, hmm, I've never done that before. I've, I mean, I think about my dreams. I think about things I'm thankful for. But um, only 3% of the people ever really write down, physically write down their dreams on paper, 3%. And so I thought, you know what? I'm doing it. And I did. And I began that day to write down gratitude, daily gratitude and my dreams as if they've happened. And now, I, I mean, there are dreams that I've circled now and started and gone, woohoo, because they have happened. I mean, things started to happen because I was writing them down and I was, you know, even though I had to borrow the belief at first, and maybe you're in those shoes right now, maybe you're thinking, yeah, Lynn Brown, but you know, it sounds like you're pretty lucky or whatever, you know, um, but I'm not, you should hear what I've been through. Uh, well, there's not enough time on this podcast for me to tell you all the things that I've been through, but I will tell you that that one thing changed everything. Mm. 
yeah, that one thing changed everything. So I had to kind of go back over that little thing to lead me up to this past year. So I've been writing financial freedom for years. No, I'm, I mean, I went through bankruptcy. Okay. So I, I get what it means to go in your child's piggy bank and get 15 quarters to go to the gas station. Okay. I, I understand. So I, I get it. And so, so I've been writing financial freedom, financial freedom, financial freedom. Now I didn't know it was going to show up like it did. I was like, no, Holly, I don't do, I don't do business funding. I'm, I'm like, I add value to people. Like I, I'm an encourager. I'm a coach and a trainer. So I just work on the mindset part of things, the gritty mindset. I'm, I'm a gritty woman. I have a gritty women podcast, you know, and, and so I, I work on the, the gritty part of the mindset. I said, I don't do that kind of stuff. The funding, no, that's not for me, but I'll give you a referral. So I gave her 25 names that night. And then that next morning, I was like, the first person I called after I decided I was all in, the first person I called said, wow, this is such an encouragement to me. That's an, and, and encouragement is actually in the very front. When you open my Bible, there's a sticky note that says encouragement. And I was like, wow, this is, this is who I am. This is one of my core values. So everything was lined up. And I cannot say that enough, um, that your core values, your, your truth, your knower, that thing inside of you, you cannot fake it. You can't, you can't for a while. Cause I did, but you can't, you can't outperform it. You can't outperform your self-esteem. You can't outperform your mindset and you can't outperform or, or go sideways from your values, that core of your core, that heart of hearts, that, that person that you are. And so when I realized this was lined up with that, I was like, I think this might be the big one. And, and it certainly has proven over the last 365 to, to really be transforming, you know, transforming lives of so many small to medium business, you know, small to medium companies and just such a blessing to people and, and to our family too. So yeah, um, those are just, you know, kind of the, those initial, you know, pivotal moments, as you said, and just going all in and just, um, just taking that, creating that discipline to write those things down and then watching them happen. I mean, absolutely. I'm watching one happen right now at my house. So here's what I'm talking about. When I said strap, strap your seatbelt on. So here we go. Here's a side note, but this is just, this is the reality of what is happening right outside my window. So I've been writing for years, restore our farm, restore our farm, buy my land back. Cause I had to sell my land. My daddy gave me, I had to sell my land during the bankruptcy. And I always said, I'm going to buy that land back. We're going to buy that land back. We're going to have a red barn on it. We're going to have, we're going to have a farm, We're gonna, you know, and so all these things. So right now there's a three huge uh, log trucks and, and big machines and they're beginning to take the pines and we're, we're beginning that restoration process. So that is happening right now. That has been written in my book every day for the last however many years. So that's what I'm talking about. These are real things. They don't sound like rocket science because they're not. But what you say to yourself and what you think and what you believe is what's going to happen. You can't, you can't plant an apple tree and get an orange, whatever you plant, you're going to, you're going to, that's what's going to come up regardless of whether it's whatever area of your life. So I hope that makes sense, but I would, I just wanted to give the listeners just kind of a real live example of what, I mean, I could, if I could open my door, you could hear the tractor. I mean, it's like that real. And I go out and I smell the dirt and I smell the pine and I'm like, wow, this is, this is my dream happening. Yeah. You know, and, and then last week I sat on a beach, a beach where I was able to pay for the whole vacation for my family. We yeah. didn't even go on vacation when my kids were little. So you'll just have to interrupt me and shut me up um, because I get really excited about all this stuff. Well, and it, and it's so true. And, and so, um, and you can hear it in her voice, right? Listeners, you can hear that belief and so many times we beat ourselves up and not continue to dream. And as you said, Lynn, write those dreams down and believe that they're going to happen because if you believe it, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. So true. So we're going to, we're going to drop a link a little later, but Tell them what changed that financial freedom for you. And then we'll leave off with what three tips would you leave for others to start their path to a gutsier mindset? Okay. So, yeah. So this, 
this whole thing, my friend Holly called me. She called me in July. I was going to the beach. I was doing my gritty women's conference and headed to the beach. And she she sent me this information. I was like, eh, nah, that doesn't sound like anything I'd ever do. And so then in August, we reconnected. And so I, I decided to make that step. She said, Lynn, she says, you've worked with so many businesses doing trainings, like communication trainings and business, you know, team building. And she said, in so many schools, she said, you need to get this money in their hands. This is a rebate money. It's leftover money from COVID. I'm like, what are you talking about? She said, well, remember all that PPP money everybody got? I'm like, well, yeah, I remember hearing all about that. And um, she said, well, it's the same money. She said, but they, they, the qualifications changed because there was so much left over. And now they're helping small businesses get a payroll rebate. And I was like, I don't even know what payroll is. I don't want to know what it is. I don't, it's just none of that was like, that was like just a foreign language to me until I realized, wow, I'm just the mouthpiece. So I can, as y'all can already tell, that's not a problem for me running my mouth. So I was like, well, I can run my mouth. I mean, I can call people. And then it just became this like moral obligation. It's like, there's so many businesses that don't have the accurate information. They don't know that they could be eligible for this. I mean, and, and there's so many minority businesses that, that didn't get any information. And it's like, y'all, this isn't right. Everyone deserves to get a rebate on the payroll that they, they paid out during that hard time of COVID. Debbie Joe with Neora. You know what our brand partners love the most about their Neora business? They can do it from anywhere. Think about it. Haven't you always wanted to have your own schedule, be your own boss, maybe even have a global business and be able to run it from your favorite coffee shop or lounging by the pool or seaside? not having to go into the office, we make sure that all of our brand partners have all of the tools they need to run their business while fitting it into their busy lives. So if that's something that you've been curious about, what it might be like for you to be able to do life on your own terms, then I think we need to chat. So anyway, so that's, that was it. It's called the employee retention and rebate. And um, I'm with a company and you know how you've always heard that who you, timing is everything. Oh, sure. But it also matters who you're doing it with. So you got to have the right team and the right dream at the right time. Exactly. And, and everything came together on this. It was just the, the, the um, couples, it was like two husbands and wives that were small business owners from um, New York that, that started this company. They lost two businesses during COVID. They lost 11. My, my One of the managing partners, Nick, he lost 11 friends during COVID. I mean, died like, and he couldn't even go to their funeral, you know? And so he was so passionate about small businesses. And so their, their values lined up with mine after I met them and, and I knew their heart for, for small businesses and for our team. I mean, I've never been compensated. I've never been I've never been compensated like this in my life. And I've done a lot of businesses. Trust me. I've done a lot of them. And I've never, I've never been compensated like this. So they care so much about us because we are, we are the hands and feet for them. We are the mouthpiece for them. So that's what, it, that's what I've been doing. I have just, I started out my small town. I called, of course, my daughter-in-law with her boutique and she got a rebate. And then I called the groceries, a little small grocery store. And then the where I go get my oil changed, I call them. And I mean, to think I could not have written them a check for $233,000, but that's what they're getting back. I mean, we have four stoplights in our town. That's, that's good money that's for our little town. It's, it's good money for the biggest town, the biggest city in the country. That's good money. And just for my listeners, I'm a recovering CPA. Not everybody knows that, that listens to my podcast, but this is the real deal. Yes, there are lots of scams out there, but Lynn is the real deal. So um, what about those three tips that you would give? Okay. So I know y'all, y'all probably were like me. You want something different, but I'm just telling you, you find you a notebook. You don't even have to go get a new leather bound journal. You find something in your house. I don't care what little notebook and you start today. Don't even wait till the in the morning. Start right now. You have plenty of time today and you start right now and you don't have to do 25. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to say you have to do 25. Do whatever your number is. Maybe you're number seven or eight or 10. I don't know. Just three. Maybe you can only think of one thing, but start your gratitude and write down your dreams as if they have happened. So I would just encourage you to start that today. I just, Give it a 30, 31 day try. Just, just try it. Just try it. If it doesn't work, you call me and say, Lynn Brown, that did not work. 
because I'm, I'm going to know what happened. You quit. Um, but anyway, the other thing is, is to lean into, lean into mentorship. Hopefully you have a mentor in your life. You know what? If you don't have one, you know, find one. There, there are plenty of them around. And you know what? And you might even have to go online to get a mentor. I have mentors online and I do have for the last seven years, I have had actual, you know, coaches. I, I always, I will always have a coach. I have a personal coach, but um, I've been in a mentorship program. So, I mean, I paid for it, but it's paying off. So, so, but, but lean into mentorship. And, you know, again, if you don't know how to find one, message me, I'll help you find one. There are plenty of them out there. And then the other thing is, is to, you know, be focused, be laser focused. I know that word's tossed around a lot. And I know you're like, oh, you have no idea how busy I am or what's going on in my life. But you know what? We find the time to do what we want to do. And, you know, maybe um, there's a story that one of my mentors told me, he said every day he would pack his lunch and, and go to work. And every day he complained about the lunch he was making. He didn't like whatever he was putting in there. And he did it for years and years. And finally, his wife said, why are you, why do you complain about your lunch every day? He's like, well, I don't like this lunch. She's like, have you ever thought about fixing a different lunch? But so many times that paradigm, those, those stories that we tell ourselves, and this gets back to that gritty mindset, which we don't have time really to go into depth today for it. But that's my whole platform for my podcast that I have. But, but we have to change this paradigm. It's like poured concrete, like an interstate you drive your car on. If you went out there to break that up, you'd have to use jackhammers and big machines. And we have to do the same for up here. It takes time. I got caught yesterday in a little loop. I got, I got thrown for a loop by one of my friends yesterday and it went, it just kept on. And I was like, what in the world, Lynn Brown, you are a coach. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. So I talked myself out of it. It hits us all. Doesn't matter how well trained you are. That's it's right. Hitting us all. So those are three great tips. I'll give you one more tip. And that is for those of you who own your own business was, were able to, continue on through the pandemic, you might be eligible for the employee retention credit and you will be able to find a link to find out whether or not you can be pre-qualified in the show notes. And Thank you so much for, for having me today. And you know, here's my thing, just if you're willing, I had a friend two years ago said, are you willing to let it go? Are you willing to let go of the good to get to the great? So that, that's the question I want to leave with you. Are you willing to let go of the good to get to the great? I love that. I love it so much. I hope listeners that you found something or three or four things that you can take away and make your life a little bit better. Until next time, this is DJ Horton, your host of the podcast, Advantages to Aging. Do you think one of the biggest advantages to aging is all the knowledge we gain along the way? Me too. What did you learn today? Share with me in my Facebook group with the same name as this podcast, Advantages to Aging. Now hit subscribe so you don't miss all the tips to come in future episodes.